Berberine is nature's most powerful blood sugar regulator. In the clinical research, it's been shown to perform just as well and even outperform the most popular blood sugar medications. However, doctors never tell you about this. I wonder why. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you what really happens in your body when you take berberine for 30 days. What impact will it have on your blood sugar, your gut health, your metabolism, your inflammation, your cholesterol levels? In this video, you'll discover the ripple effect and how berberine will transform your health in just 30 days. So let's go ahead and dive in. But before we do, I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski. And as always, it's a pleasure hanging out with you guys in another video. When we look at berberine, Berberine, as I mentioned before, is a natural compound and it comes from barberry and golden seal. And it's been studied for the benefits in areas such as blood sugar, lipid profiles, gut health, and even your metabolic markers. So if you were to take berberine for 30 days, what would happen? Let's start on week one. Well, you're gonna find some early changes in your blood sugar and your metabolism. You're gonna find that your blood sugar becomes more stable. And the research shows that you're going to have some significant changes, not only in quality life, quality of life in the way of you're gonna have less sugar cravings, you're gonna have less crashes throughout the day because your energy and your blood sugar is more stable. You're gonna find that you have a better quality of sleep because your blood sugar isn't crashing in the middle of the night. Here's the deal, is that berberine has been shown to actually reduce fasting plasma glucose and help stabilize it. It's been shown to help reduce your HbA1c, which is a long-term glucose control marker that you would find on a blood test. It also has been shown to reduce post-meal blood glucose because this is actually a huge factor as when you eat, your blood sugar starts to rise and berberine will help keep it more stable. Somebody who is suffering with insulin resistance, one of the problems they have is every time they eat, their blood sugar just spikes out of control. And so through many clinical trials, looking at people with type two diabetes, and why did they use people with type two diabetes? Because they're the ones who are struggling the most with insulin resistance. And so in the clinical trials where they looked at type two diabetics, they were seeing these benefits. And there was actually some really interesting data as to how the berberine performs uh, compared to the most popular blood sugar medications. I wasn't bluffing when I started the video this way. And, and I also was asking a serious question, why are not more doctors talking about this? In a head-to-head -head trial with type two diabetics, what they found is berberine showed a similar hypoglycemic effect to metformin. They also found that not only will the berberine uh, produce comparable effects of metformin in the way of blood sugar control, but it actually would even outperform it. There was a pre-diabetes trial, and what they found is that berberine reduced fasting and post-meal glucose levels similarly or slightly more than metformin. And to top it off, it actually had fewer gastrointestinal side effects, okay? So not only did it outperform, but then you didn't have the side effects, which is a real big deal for anybody who is trying to improve their health because when you start doing things to improve your health and then more side effects come along with it, in the case of taking medication, well, that's a real bummer. So if we can do it naturally, then we're winning. We also found that women who are suffering from PCOS benefited greatly from berberine. Berberine's effects on insulin resistance, ovulation rates, and some metabolic markers were comparable or more favorable than metformin. They also found in several studies that berberine improved insulin resistance and increased the likelihood of ovulation more than metformin or the placebo, okay? So once again, it's either comparable or outperforming. So the mechanism in here that we're looking at that is partly responsible for such good impacts on your health is because the berberine is going to influence these metabolic pathways just like the medication does. However, it's doing so naturally. So here's how you take berberine and then we're gonna to get to week two and three and four. And as you can see with the groundwork that we've laid from week one, we're gonna see some pretty cool impacts week two and beyond. So first thing that we have to consider when we are taking berberine is going to be how often we should take it. And you're gonna to wanna to take it two to three times per day before your meal, typically around 10 to 15 minutes before your meal. There's a reason for this. The reason for this is because it'll help you eat fewer calories in that meal, it will help you feel full faster, and it will also help with the cravings of sugar post meal. So therefore, taking the berberine prior to your meal is ideal. Now something that's very important to understand about berberine is that it's not very bioavailable. 
This is a big problem that you can have when you're taking some natural compounds is that your body doesn't want to absorb them well. So this is why I use a type of berberine that is five times more bioavailable so that your body's actually getting it. This is interesting because what you can do with this specific form of berberine is that you can take a lower dose and it is less likely to have any type of gastrointestinal distress on you because of the lower dose and then you're absorbing more of it. So you're really just getting more for your money here. And this is why I'm very specific and I use a berberine called berberine ER. And this is something I'll put in the link in the description below. This is what I use personally and this is also what I use clinically. And so I would simply take one capsule of this 10 to 15 minutes before a meal two to three times a day. Now let's move on to week two, okay? Because we actually see some really interesting changes happening in the body that you wouldn't expect. And this is gonna be changes in the gut microbiota, basically meaning that it's changing the microbiome, the, the bacterial balance within the gut. Here's the thing that's interesting about anybody who is suffering from insulin resistance or even type two diabetes, is I've never seen somebody who has a problem with one of these issues who does not also have a gut issue. And what you'll find is that these different pathogens in the gut will actually cause you to crave sugar and cause you to crave carbohydrates. And so you'll find that the berberine will actually cause you to have a better microbiome environment, which means better gut health. You'll see less bloating, less gas, and less cravings as a result of that, which is really interesting. Now, moving on to week three, we've improved our gut health. We've improved our blood sugar control in week one and two. Now in week three, we're seeing something different happen. You're starting to see lipid and metabolic syndrome improvements, specifically in the ways of cholesterol and triglycerides. So we're gonna see that as this berberine has been working in your system, your biomarkers are starting to improve. This is why it's powerful for anybody who is suffering from blood sugar control or insulin resistance because we know that the whole metabolic syndrome comes with that, right? We have high blood sugar, we have high blood pressure, we have high cholesterol, we have fatty liver, we got all kinds of issues going on. And as a result of that, we're not feeling well. So now when we start taking this berberine, we're gonna see the biomarkers change. You're gonna see that your LDLs, your LDL cholesterol starts to lower. You're gonna find that you have reduced levels of total cholesterol and triglycerides. You're going to find that your good cholesterol may even have a slight increase, those HDLs. Now, the big question becomes when we start looking at these changes happening in the body is, well, this is awesome. We're seeing a huge impact across your health at this point in time, and we're only in week three. How long should you have to take this berberine in order to get amazing results? Now, it all comes back down to, when we look at natural health, both dose and duration. As I've said many times before, it's like going to the gym to lose weight. One of the things that will matter is dose and duration. How often did you go to the gym and also for how long a period of time? So the same thing goes when it comes to taking supplementation. And a rule of thumb is if you really want to see good results using the berberine, you're going to have to use it for a minimum of at least three months, okay? Though we're in this 30-day period and we're just rocking and rolling, we really want to solidify these results by taking it for a minimum of three months in order to effectuate long-term change in the body. Now, we've covered week three, where we saw all those metabolic markers start to improve. Let's move into week four, and I think you're going to be really happy about this one. We're going to start to see inflammation and cellular signaling change. Berberine has a positive anti-inflammatory effect on the body. It helps calm the inflammatory pathways. What does this mean for you? This means less joint stiffness. This means improved recovery, meaning that like you improve uh, your recovery response to exercise, you're also going to just have a better overall resilience, okay? When you lower inflammation in the body, the stiffness goes down, the pain goes down, your quality of life dramatically goes up. I work with patients all the time who are suffering from inflammation and they hurt and they're uncomfortable. So it helps lower that inflammation. You're also gonna find that it supports mitochondrial function, which is your energy system, the body. This means more healing, this means more energy. And then it helps reduce oxidative stress, okay? So you're seeing this really play a huge impact at this point in quality of life. Your biomarkers can change. That helps keep you off of medication, that helps prevent long-term disease problems in the future. However, when we look at the here and now, this improves quality of life in the moment. Now, you're also gonna find that you are gonna get some weight 
and body composition changes. And I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Berberine is excellent at burning fat, okay? It's a stimulant in order to help your body start turning on that furnace that burns the fat off. It's going to do this not through magic, it's going to do this through improving insulin sensitivity and then also reducing cravings. You heard me say at the very beginning of this video, we're lowering our blood sugar, we're lowering our insulin levels as a result of the berberine. We're now able to tap into fat burning and so we have that improved insulin sensitivity and we're burning fat. We're also now having less cravings, meaning you're not gonna eat as much sugar, you're not gonna crave as much carbohydrates, you're not going to overeat. One of the big problems that happens to our metabolic system is that when it becomes unhealthy, we don't know how to control our eating. We don't know when we're hungry, when we're full. We get this, this sensation all the time that we're hungry, and then we never seem to flip that switch that tells us that we're full, so we just keep eating and eating and overeating. You're also going to find that the berberine is going to help just enhance the overall metabolic efficiency, and you're going to start seeing the weight fall off. Now, some people will notice that they're going to get some weight loss. Some people will notice that their body composition changes, like, hey, just have less fat more muscle, you're gonna find that you have less water retention and also the belly starts to shrink down. So over the course of 30 days, just 30 days, that is the massive impact that we see. And this is why I say, well, if we did that in just 30 days, let's do it for 90 and let's try to solidify the positive effects that the berberine has on your metabolism. And if we take one capsule, two to three times a day prior to eating, we're gonna get best results. And I'll put a link to the five times more bioavailable berberine down in the description below. I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski. If you love this video, you'll love this one next.